How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Talking Walls and welcome back to a new match preview. Walls will be travelling to Southampton this weekend to take on the Saints at St Mary's. Uh, we haven't got or picked up a single point in our last five top flight visits against Southampton. So it's going to be an interesting game. It's a game where oh, really Wolves need to try and pick something up from. It's not been a great start to the year. And uh, yeah, it's time to, to pick up some points at least as well. And we're going to be talking about that today. And obviously the squad, uh, maybe a little bit on the transfer front as well. And obviously going to be touching on Southampton as well. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below ahead of the game. And before we kick off, make sure you go and check out our channel partners over at OneFootball. Fantastic football app to go and check out. Free to download on Android and iOS. A link to it is in the top of the description down below where you can find out all the latest team news, uh, the team lineups, your live football scores and your transfer rumours as well. So as I say, free to download in the link in the description down below. So... Wolves Southampton, we're going to start off with some match facts, I've not done this for a while, but uh, some of these are not great reading for a Wolves fan, Saints have won three of their last five Premier League meetings against Wolves, drawing one and losing the other one, uh, winning both of the home matches, uh, obviously in 03-04 and 18-19, Wolves have lost as I said earlier, their last five away top flight visits against Southampton. That's a run stretching back to October 1980. Um, Southampton, of course, have won their last four, uh, the last four of their last five league games and drawing the other one. We'll go through that a little bit later as well. That's as many as they had in their previous 22 in the competition. And only Liverpool and Manchester City have won more points over the last 10 Premier League matches than Southampton. What a run the Saints are on at the moment. Uh, a team who, towards the start of the season, maybe you would see as possible relegation candidates. But all of a sudden, Ralph Hasenhutl's got them playing uh, and winning games and scoring goals. And a lot of that is down to the man Danny Ings at the moment. I think in, in this current form, um, I think any Premier League team would have him. I think we all knew what, what type of player he was back in his Burnley days, even when he was at Liverpool. But he just didn't have the look with injuries, did he? Um, and I think we all knew the quality that was there with Danny Ings, but he was just one of those players, you know, when is he going to be fit? Uh, it looks like he's hit that, you know, he's hit that little bit of a run of form now at Saints. He's got his fitness back up to scratch. And since the 21st of December, they've not lost and they've been on some fantastic runs, beating Villa away three goals to one, beating Chelsea away two goals to nil, a draw against Palace beating Spurs at home, beating Huddersfield at home in the Cup, and most recently beating Leicester City as well, two goals to one. You know, they're not just victories. They're victories against some in-form and top teams, beating Chelsea, Leicester and Spurs in a, in a pretty tough run. Southampton have been great. And you look at the stats from that game against Leicester. Leicester had a bit more of the ball, but Leicester had just five shots to Southampton 16 they had a dominant performance in that game. 10 of those 16 shots are on target, which at times is almost unheard of. They're in a really high ratio of shots on goal, so they're doing well. And that in that game, again, the man, Danny Ings, in the end, scoring the winner. And he cannot stop scoring at the moment. And I think it's pretty obvious if Wolves want to get anything out of this game, they're going to have to stop Danny Ings from scoring. Uh, you look at how they've been lining up recently at 4 4 2. Ings with Shane Long starting up front in that last game, but it's a very structured formation, and at times a 4-4-2, despite it being so basic on paper, is one of the most difficult formations to break down. So Southampton have got it right at the moment, but let's switch back to Wolves. Wolves at the moment have been on a, a strange run of form after a, a pretty solid December, to be honest, coming up till after Christmas. Now defeats against Liverpool, Watford, Manchester United in the uh, in the cup as well, and uh, of course drawing to United earlier in the month, and then most recently drawing against Newcastle. It just looks like Wolves are fatigued at the moment, and you know we're 17 days now into the transfer window, and no real signs of signing anyone soon. Nuno in his press conference today did say. Obviously, uh, that a signing is close. Fingers crossed that is the case. But uh, Wolves have picked up another injury. Ruben Vinagre pulled up at the end of the game against Manchester United. It's been confirmed that he pulled his hamstring. He could be out anywhere between four to six weeks, I'd assume. Which is a bit of a blow. That's going into March for Wolves. Uh, so they've recalled the youngster Ryan Giles from Shrewsbury, who you'd uh, highly expect will be on the bench um, tomorrow, but it will be interesting to see our Wolves line up for this game. Um, I think we, we the last few games we have played okay, uh, but Wolves, I think in the last half an hour of games and uh, also we're starting to look fatigued. Maybe we need to try something different. Maybe we need to try 
and go back to the 5-3-2, shore up that midfield a little bit, maybe against the 4-4-2, adding an extra body in there, you know, moving Dendonka back up, maybe bringing Ryan Bennett or Max Kilman back into the lineup, um, and, and possibly dropping Doc, who in my opinion has looked tired the last few weeks, bring Adama onto that right wing back, and, and just ch try something new, um, and you never know that, you know, Changing it up a little bit might just give us that fresh approach and might just help us start scoring a few more goals and looking more comfortable in the games. Um, uh, you know, it, in my opinion, I don't think that's going to happen, but I'd like to. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Um, I think Nuno will probably go unchanged from that United team. Um, of course, with Nova Nagre now, Ryan Giles will come onto the bench. We've got Morgan back as well, but we desperately need signings to help shore up that team at the moment. Southampton are in form, but. Um, you know, we know what this wall side are capable of. I'm not worried about losing this game, uh, but I don't. Maybe we just not got quite enough to win, and that's that's unusually quite negative for, for me. You guys know that if you watch the channel, how positive I normally am about these games. Um, but I think maybe this game an informed Southampton. Hopefully, we are the team to stop that run. Uh, but if I had to chuck a prediction out there and probably go one-one, um, I can't see to losing the game personally. Uh, but I don't think we'll have enough quality, and I think with that, with how strong Southampton are at the moment, um, I think we can still get something out of the game. We'll have a quick look at the the, the track, the the win, the league. Sorry, can't get my words out today. We're still in seventh place in the league. I think if somebody told me at the start of the season, uh, right, Wolves are in the Europa League and the Premier League, give me some predictions. I think we would all have been happy for us just to get through to the group stage, and would have been happy for us to remain competitive. Round about maybe mid-table in the Premier League with us being in an extra competition. The fact that Wolves are still extremely in there in seventh place and, you know, a, a few points off the top six again, or, well, with one point behind the top six, I think that is great. You can see how tight it is at the moment anyway. Anywhere from Southampton up, you know, Southampton could leapfrog us. Well, it's not going to happen because their goal difference is so poor, but they could come level on points of us if they win that game. So it is extremely tight at the moment. Uh, but I can't think... I don't think you can say it's been a bad season for Wolves. Um, we, we're through to the knockouts end of the Europa League. We've still got all our key players. We're in a great position in the league as well. And just a, a little bit of momentum, a little string now between now and maybe that game in the Europa League. Just you, We've just got to start separating ourselves above these other teams. Even the likes of Arsenal, Everton, Palace, Spurs. We can start putting pressure on them a little bit more as well. Um, so yeah, it's going to be an interesting few weeks for Wolves. I think signings are around the corner. I'd love to see another three faces. Maybe two to four players come in would be great for Wolves overall. And uh, yeah, let's see what we could do. Prediction, as I say, 1-1. One, one. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. How do you think Wolves will line up? Uh, and what do you think the score prediction will be? Saints are on form, uh, but we know this Wolves team, when they want to turn it on, and when they've got that little bit of quality in turn up, uh, we can be a very, very dangerous team to play against. So be sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back tomorrow uh, for the match review. But until then, I'll see you all very, very soon.